Hey y'all, welcome back and today we are at Epcot. I haven't been here in a couple of weeks, but today we're going to stroll around. We're going to take a look at to see what new options they have and I'm going to do lunch today at the German Pavilion. I haven't been, uh, I haven't done a lunch here before, so today we're going to check that out. Also, I want to check out some of the new features that they've got here uh, since my last visit. They've opened up, so I'm excited to see that as well. Follow along folks, welcome aboard. So cool in this weight line. The lighting makes you feel like you're in the ocean. I don't know if you can see what I get to see, but the weight line that shows the standby time was only less than 10 minutes. I want to take advantage of this. I've never done this ride before. I'm, you know, it's for young, young kids and families, so I want to jump in. Hi. Just keep swimming. Oh, just keep swimming. How cool. So, at first I didn't think I've done this before because it's been so long. You know, I've been a pass holder for what, like four years now? And, um, I have. And, I want you to come along with me. If you miss Disney, you're gonna love this. Come on, follow along. It's closed. Turtle Talk is closed. So I don't think I was able to see the manatees last time I was here. It was really impressive. Uh, one thing I noticed was that these were both injured uh, manatees. One of them has some initials inscribed in it, so I, what I was able to see was RS on the upper torso or upper back of the uh, manatee, uh, the one that was leaving at the last footage. Uh, the other one looked like the tail's been hit by probably a propeller or some other things. Some scarring was there too. So um, it's really neat that they got a place to come to that they can feel safe now. Don't have to worry about that anymore. So thank you Walt Disney World for taking care of our precious manatees. Uh, I'm sure that they do uh, enjoy this now. Uh, so I hope you get the chance to see them as well. So let's take a look a little bit more of this one and we'll keep on moving, keep on on. So the pop quiz area where you can sit and watch is now closed. Darn you, COVID. And the Sharp World little playhouse area is closed, which we figured that would happen. Folks, I gotta hurry up. I got a lunch date today. I gotta hurry up. I am headed to the beer garden at uh, Germany Pavilion, but I got my first beverage here inside of Epcot. I wanna have a quick drink and then I'm gonna head around the world to go to Germany. Follow along, okay? Cheers. Prost.
character greet and look who it is. Amazing. Well, hello. hello how are you? Wonderful. Thank you for being here and enjoying. Uh, tell her we all said hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, enjoy yourself. Thank you. You too. Folks, did you see who I got to see? Wow! So happy to be here. We got some hidden Mickeys up here. So, I don't know if you can see this. The sun has hit me in my eyes. So, the hidden Mickey, this guy right here in his crown. There you go, you see it? There it is. This is inside the German pavilion. The hidden Mickey. All right, let's check in for lunch. Beer Garten Restaurant. So I just got here, I got seated into the um, beer garden and I just got my appetizers. So my drink is on the way. However, my beer selection is limited. So a lot of the beer got um, stuck with the storm as well as a couple of my FedEx packages that were supposed to be delivered uh, on Wednesday of last week. Uh, one was sent overnight, supposed to be there Wednesday. Never showed up. It still is in route anyway. So. I'm going to do the grapefruit uh, Hefeweizen, um, forget the name of it offhand, but it's a low alcohol per volume. Anyway, I'm going to try that again. I got the leader of that because why not? I'm here in Germany, right? Look at this place. It's amazing. So with that being said, I got to show you the appetizers that they just brought out. This is a whole family meal and this is just me here alone. So I want you to look at this. How much can I do? I don't know. Um, I'll give it a good call. Let's try. All right, take a look. So we got a macaroni salad. Cucumber salad, potato salad, and some rolls. And I think that's butter and mustard. Yeah, so the band will be back out here about a little after, uh, I don't know, another 25, 30 minutes they said. So look forward to it. I'm gonna take a little bite. Here it comes. Nice. Thank you. You're so very welcome. Everything good so far? So, I'm sure. Thank you. So, I'm not a fan of grapefruit. Grapefruit and I do not ever get along. Until now. This grapefruit uh, beer is a Hefeweizen. It's really, really, really good. Um, I don't necessarily taste the grapefruit in it as I do other hints of other things. So, it's really good. If you get it, you can, you can get it at your uh, liquor stores, your beer stores, your wherever. Um, let's see if I can figure out the name of it again and let you know. So good. So my lunch has arrived. Oh my gosh, this is an all-you-can-eat place, y'all. This is more for family. This is not just a one-person thing. So anyway, we've got some, uh, you know, some sauerkraut. Some, oh, come on, look at that. Some meatballs, some chicken, some macaroni and cheese. I don't remember what she said that is. I'm not lying. I think this is going to be the most food I've even had in front of me in the last three weeks. So I may be a big boy, but I do not eat a lot of food. I drink a lot of drinks, but I don't eat a lot of food. So I really think that I'm here for the uh, entertainment. I'm here for the views more so than the food. So we shall see though. Let's try meatball. I'm not a food critic. I will take you on journeys with food because that's what we do, we eat. That's a good meatball. 
It's got a brown gravy on it. That's a good meatball. It was juicy. Like when I bit into it, I was afraid the juice was going to fall down, so I just took it off. That's a good meatball. All right, take a look at this once again. Take your family here. And just remember, this was appetizer. That was the appetizers, y'all. This is the entree, all you can eat. Take a look at the prices. Put it in your budget. Make it happen. Make it happen. So far, so good. Well, folks, I think I did the best I can at this dinner. It's a dinner for me because I don't eat a lot of food, and this was a lot of food. So, you ready to see the dent I put into this? I'm gonna first tell you that those meatballs were fantastic. Um, macaroni and cheese, good. I did add some salt to it. But look, at, I did add, I, I put a dent. I did, I promise I did. Yeah. Right. So that was rice. There was um, roasted potatoes. I didn't even try the chicken. Sauerkraut was good, some other different sausages. Chicken nuggets were not good. There's another something, and then macaroni and cheese. Oh my goodness, I... For all you can eat, it's a lot of food. Yeah, I paid a lot of money to do this today. I didn't bring my other stomachs with me though. It's, uh, I was ready. I was ready to eat, I really was. I can't do it, I give up. Prost. Well, folks, that concludes this uh, German dinner here. It was amazing. I thought I was done earlier. I didn't realize there was going to be more coming. So, I'll feed us in. I'm going to walk around, do some more. I'm done. I'm stuffed. You can roll me out of here. This place is amazing. I can't wait to come back with some friends and family. Hopefully, uh, some of y'all will be joining me. So, take a look at the menu. It was amazing. It was delicious. But uh, I will definitely not be coming here just alone. Way too much food. So I need somebody to come here with. How about that be you? And once again, though, if you do like this video and others like it, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit that bell to get your notifications. We'll be catching along.